Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Coastal Scents brushes that I ordered off of the Coastal Scents uh, website. And this is for the 15 set of brushes. And it comes in a cute little pouch like this. It's a little brush roll with um, a nice little snap down latch. And the little flap to keep them, keep your brushes covered. And that's what they all look like. Okay. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what I think about each brush and how I use the brushes. How you want to use them, that's all on you. But this is just how I use them and what I use them for. Okay, first is the powder brush. These brushes are amazing. The They have a nice weight to them. They sit in your hand nicely. So you can just kind of buff your powder on. And that's what that looks like. Sorry, I have makeup all over me. But yeah, that is what that looks like. And it is a very large size. See... And it just, I love it. it. The weight in the handle is very, very nice. It just kind of sits in your hand and just makes for easy application. Nice brush. The next brush in this is the um, angled brush. I did just use these brushes, so they're not perfectly clean. I apologize. But, uh... The next brush, again, nice weight in the handle of it, and uh, very densely packed, very, I mean, there's a lot of hairs there. And this is the angled brush, goes, and that's, I use this to define my cheekbones with, um, when I'm contouring and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, that's that brush. It's very, it's packed. It's a nice brush. The next one is just a blush brush, a round blush brush. And it looks like that. Again, very dense. And it goes from short to long hair up top. So the sides, the hairs are shorter. And you can see that as I move like so. And that just kind of um, helps for when you're applying your blush. It just blends smoother because you get, you know, the transition between the longer hairs and the shorter hairs. And I use that when I'm applying my blush, like so. The next brush, again, that brush is also, um, it has a nice weight in the handle. All these brushes are very nicely weighted. Not too much to where, you know, it's a pain, but they are heavy handled, so you can tell they're better quality than, um, I don't know, a knockoff generic form, I guess. I don't know. But um, this is just a foundation brush. And this is the only brush I really am having a little bit of problems with shedding. I don't know if you can see that. But, I mean, it's not a bad brush. I mean, I it serves its purpose. And this is what it looks like. And I use this for applying my foundation. Like so. And yes, I'm like all broke out and I never broke out. I don't know what's going on with my skin, but I'm not happy today about that. Anyway, um, this brush, I don't know if all of them are like that or if it's just, it, you know, I happen to get a brush like this. But it is also kind of like the blush brush to an extent, like their shorter hairs on the outer side. And I mean, can you see that? 
as it, it's shorter here and then kind of stacks and peaks in the front. But see, the other side isn't really like that. So I don't know if that was the whole idea of it was to have shorter ones on this side and then longer at the center. And then um, not so much on this side, on the other side, but that's how my brush is. Anyway, and I really, I do actually like this brush. I do use this brush, but I'm more of a fan of um, stippling on my foundations and stuff like that rather than um, using the brush like this, the flat top brush, or not flat top, but flat side brush. Then we've got a few um, brushes that are kind of large, and I believe they're supposed to be for eye use, eyeshadow and stuff. But in comparison to my eye, these are quite large, so I can't use them as they are, I guess, intended to be used. But um, the next brush is this, and I will just show you the size in comparison. Like, that's just too big to use for a lid. For me, I mean, even if I go this way, it's, it's still fairly large. So I prefer to use this brush more um, for after I apply my eye makeup. Then I, I'll take some um, concealer and use it under my eyes and set it with a powder using this brush to just kind of dip in the powder and, you know, wipe clean up the edges and set the concealer with this brush right here again this is very um, densely packed as well the next one is an interesting little guy to me and I don't really know exactly how this is supposed to be used and I have looked up other girls um, that have maybe, um, not maybe, but of course, have uh, used this brush. And I just find it easier to use it for highlighting like down the nose area and contouring my nose. It's the Doe Foot brush. And I know a, a few companies are picking up on this uh, style brush, but I don't know if it's supposed to technically be used on the eye area or not, but I can't use it there because again, in comparison with my eye, it's quite large. So I prefer to use it for contouring my nose and highlighting and stuff like that. And even for along here, adding some highlight like through there, stuff like that rather than on my eye. Again, very nice brush though. It's this one definitely is tightly packed. I mean, but I did find, I washed all these brushes um, probably about three times. And since I've had them and I've had them for about a month now, I'd say, maybe a little less, maybe a little less. But um, I used, uh, or after I washed this, it kind of loses its shape a little more. That's why I don't find it all that manageable for an eye brush because of the the way it loses so much of its shape after you wash it. I mean, you can always buy those covers and that will help, but when I use the brush, I just prefer to use it as contouring and highlighting rather than on the eye since if you can see that, I don't know how well. But yeah, it it did lose some of its shape. I mean, it still kept the doe foot angle to it. I don't know if I mentioned that or if you can see that well, but it does have an angle to it. And it's flat topped at an angle though. And, um, but when you wash it, it loses its shape through here on the outside a lot. The next brush is, um, I have two of them. These are the only brushes I found that, um, or wait, there's three actually, four, 
yeah, there's four. <laughs> These are my um, synthetic brushes that come in the palette. And I find that these are extremely rough to get clean. I mean, I've used pretty much everything. I cannot get the colors to just come out. It doesn't um, spread the colors on after you wash it. It does, you know, wash away the residue, but it stains your brushes because they're synthetic and they absorb the coloring, the pigments that I use. But anyway, I'm going to go through each individual brush. And I'm going to start with these two because they're very similar. Okay, this one right here is a medium-sized concealer brush for um, concealing any redness, which I apparently did not through there. But yes, it's for concealing um, and all that stuff like under eye concealing, um, stuff like that. And this one, which is a bit smaller in comparison, I don't know how well you can see that, but this is more for precision concealing for, um, like if you have something like, yuck, like that, then you can kind of, um, just conceal it with whatever concealer. And this is just a spot brush, con spot concealer brush. Um, but I do use this um, rather differently than what you are, um, what the intent of them is for. Um, I use the larger one of the two for foiling my eyeshadows onto my eye, and um, just basically as an eyeshadow brush because it fits my eye a whole lot better than some of the other brushes for that purpose. So that's what I use that one for is just kind of, um, anytime I use a wet, wet eyeshadow formula, like a cream base or a, or foiling my eyeshadows, I tend to go for this one. And this is definitely, um, tightly packed as well. I mean, there's not a whole lot in there, but it's a firm, stiffer brush because it's technically for concealing, but I don't use it for that. The next one I actually use for eyes as well. Um, because I have other brushes that I use to conceal with rather than these ones because I find these ones are a little bit too small as opposed to my um, Bare Essentials, Bare Minerals uh, concealing brush. So I use these for eyes instead. And this one I actually use to apply my NYX Jumbo Pencil because I currently do not have a sharpener for it and it's got kind of a smoother outside edge so I can't sharpen it in my regular sharpeners. So um, I find that this fits down and oh, my hand is filthy. I apologize for that but you'll have that I guess. <laughs> anyway, this uh, actually fits right down into that Jumbo Pencil really well and then I can just kind of add the color to get, um, yeah, to get that color down that I want from the NYX pencil. Okay, that's those. Then I'll go ahead and to the next brush um, in the synthetic category. This brush, um, I like to use this one. It's square topped, flat. And I use this one for, as a, I, I've heard them called a push brush. They're good for um, actually putting in your gel eyeliners or cream or whatever. And just kind of pushing the color right there on the outer part of your lower lash line. Or even the top. And it sits nicely right like that to do your wing if you want a wing. The only thing is, is because it is so squared and uh, such, it won't give you that 
point if you leave it just like that you got to kind of play around with it to get that precise point if you're a perfectionist and have to have it perfect even though mine are still not perfect yeah that's how I use it but that's that one then there is the angled synthetic brush and I play back and forth on this one I use it for several things and that's what it looks like and um, you can use this to get that angle that you're looking for if that's what you're wanting um, with a cream or liquid or whatever not liquid but cream or I guess you could use liquid but I don't know I haven't tried it I just use cream or uh, gel eyeliners and you can use this to um, do that but you're not going to get a very thin precise line because it is a little bit thicker I mean not by much but it is rather thick if you are one of those people that like a thin line like usually I do and this just doesn't cut it but um Another use for this is to fill in your eyebrows and then when you come to the outer edge you need to turn it, um, well I do anyway, I turn it to the point side that way I can get a precise thinner line rather than leaving it flat like this as I fill them. Then I turn it and I get that point to come together. But yeah, that is some of the uses for this angled brush very good brush and the next brush um when I first got this set I was a little disappointed in some of the sizes of these brushes that are supposed to be used on the eyes but as I've played around with them and used them I actually quite like them just those two that I previously showed you I don't use on the eye area. This one I do. I really like this one because it is short. The hairs on it are short. And um, it's very, very packed. It's very dense, packed brush. And um, even though it's quite large for my eye, I still use it to add that color through here, up through here, and I do use it to highlight because it tapers. Um, there's shorter hairs on the outside, and my thingamajig is my camera is not picking up too well, but um, they get longer in the middle, so it is tapered and comes to like a point almost but not a severe point, it's gradually, so um, I can still get that precise uh, area of highlight without worrying about it um, having fallout go fall up and getting into the brow area which isn't very attractive. But um, I really do like this brush. It's great for packing on color and if you have more um, eyelid space than I do, it, you know, you could definitely use it as the eye brush, especially since it comes to a point right there at an angle. That helps out a lot. The next brush is a, is this small detailed eyeshadow brush. This is wonderful for getting that inner tear duct area through here if you want to add some dimension and drama to your eyes you can really get in there with this brush I mean it's just effortless to just get in there with that brush like so and or you can even use it if you want that precise highlighting very thin highlight because you want to bring your eyeshadow up a little higher um, that it works very well there you can use it in the crease area and you can use it below so this has multiple uses it is very thin and not um, packed so much it's 
quite soft this way. All these brushes are extremely soft. I did not mention that. These brushes are extremely soft, all of them. Um, but this is the small detail brush, and it has multiple uses, like I said. Very good brush. Now, the next brush is a crease precision pencil brush-ish thing. And this is one of my favorites. It's packed nicely, but yet it's very loosely put in there at the same time. And it comes to a tapered point so you can get very precise, accurate um, placement of the eyeshadows that you're using. This, um, I actually ordered two because I wasn't sure if this brush was um, what I was wanting it to be and it was exactly as I was wanting it to be because yes they are both the same except one is black handled and one is red and um, that fits very nicely right here in my crease area and then you can do some swirling and blending and so on and so forth but very good brush, one of my favorites because of the precise uh, tapered point it has and um, the roundness as it comes down. It points in the center, but then it rounds out, so it's got great placement um, potential with your eyeshadows. It's a great brush. The next brush is your typical um, eyebrow brush. And pretty much if you've seen one, you've seen them all. That's kind of how I feel. And I know a lot of other makeup gurus and girls and guys and so forth uh, kind of feel the same way. Because um, there's no need when you get makeup brushes to buy a very expensive one of these. Because it just, there really isn't. But yes, it does exactly as they're supposed to do. And um, the next brush... I'm not exactly sure what to do with this. This is a fan brush, and it's a very small fan brush in comparison to my other fan brush. But yes, in comparison to it, very different. But um, I believe I've seen somebody use this a few times at... Um, and a gel formed uh, mascara or you can apply your mascara on your wand your mascara wand um, through this and hit those lashes but you're not gonna get I don't think quite the definition in your eyelashes as you're wanting I, I'm not sure how that works but um, another use for it I guess is for highlight and contouring maybe I don't know I just really haven't found a really good use for this but um, the next brush is one that was actually uh, ordered separately and it's the C200 Deluxe Crease Brush and I love this brush. Probably one of my absolute favorite brushes. It is tightly packed, yet super soft, and um, it tapers up again, but not so much as a point, but more of a gradual rounded surface area. And it just kind of is great for getting in there and really getting that crease because of the um, thick, of it being so thin at the bottom and then thicker at the top. It just kind of sits in there, right in there, and just stays in that area where you want it. And then um, it can also be used to buff out your colors and blend. Great, great brush. Again, it's um, smaller on the outside and larger hairs as it goes up. Great, great brush. Love this one. And um, that's it, guys. Uh as far as the brushes are concerned and such great 
great brushes for the price. Um, I'll have the price below because I can't think of how much it was right offhand. But um, there's 15 in the package. And at first glance, these look like Smashbox brushes. That's what I think of when I see them because of the burgundy, uh, whatever, cherry reddish burgundy colored handles. Um, again, great weight and great quality. The hairs are nice. I've washed these several times and they really don't shed. The only brush I've really had any problems with shedding is um, this, which is fairly odd <laughs> to me. But um, the only downer negative thing I have to say about this brush set is the inside. This is a velvet and there's just really no way to clean that. Anytime you put your brushes in here, you're just putting your brushes in and it's smearing whatever powders or whatever makeup was on your brush, you're just smearing them down the velvet and it, it just doesn't come clean then. But all in all, great brush set. Um, there was no real icky smell, and um, I didn't have any problem with uh, black dyes from the bristles in the brush um, or the hairs being rinsed. There was no black dyes, so I'm I'm really really pleased with these brushes. To to kind of show how much I was. I like was so excited when I first got this. I actually fell asleep with my brushes in my hand. Like, I love these brushes. They work amazingly great for the price. And um, I will leave all the information below as to how much I paid for them and uh, the website. Again, these are Coastal Scents brushes, and um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please, if you haven't done so already, rate, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Like, all that. Um, I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Bye.